audio jungle. people and welcome to day one of our Norway seven day hiking trip. We have been on the road for what feels, minutes, what feels like hours. forever. Yeah, we've been on the road for a day, day and a half. Yeah. Uh, you've, you've already seen it, trains, tr coaches, trams, metros, bullshit. you name it, we've been on planes. it. Planes. Planes. Planes, trains and automobiles. It's a uh, it's been quite an ordeal to be honest. Uh, we've, uh, I'm pretty shattered as it is, and we've only just. It's six o'clock in the evening, we've just started hiking. So uh, we've got a couple of miles to cover uh, to get to camp. So we're currently following these maps. Matt's got one over there. Oh, we've got Matt and Jordan by the way, so I'll probably introduce these two. What? Matt and Jordan? Uh, Matt and Bill, Jesus oh! Christ. Jordan isn't here. Jordan couldn't make it. Um, so yeah, there's only three of us. But we're in this gorgeous area of Nordmarka National Park in Norway. Crazy. That, that are a part that come together that go away. Which is what makes me think it's that. So this one isn't exactly... Is, this, is, that, more in, is that more zoomed in than that? So it's just a little bit difficult navigating at the moment. There's a lot of um, small fire roads and tracks and the maps aren't completely clear. Um, so it's a bit of a challenge straight off the bat. But we'll get there, I'm sure. We've probably got a few hours before the sun completely goes down. Um, so ideally we need to be somewhere to set up camp before then. So we've got So Brian, what's going off? Just walking south and we should be walking north. No biggie. <laughs> We've literally walked in completely the wrong direction. Don't fucking admit that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we turned right when we should have turned. We turned right when we should have gone straight on because we just ended up coming in a loop backwards. Only about half a mile, but it's a good job to do that. Okay, so we have orientated ourselves. It took a little while to get used to the mapping system because it's it's 150 and we're used to 125 at home. Never read this kind of map before, so we're recovering less distance than I thought we were. But it's okay now. I've kind of got, I've got the grass with it now, and we're, and we're spot on. Um, but time is clocking on. We've got four kilometres to cover before we get to camp. Parallel to Leo. So we're gonna go up. Yeah, yeah, across. that was that was where we were originally gonna camp, but now we're gonna go up further. Up, up, to... up across. Oh we're going there. Yeah, yeah. That's that's Myra Store Klungen. Excellent. Oh look at the lily pads, that's so beautiful. 
that water reminds me of Sweden. Massively. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to the lake that we're camping at. We're just trying to navigate around the edge of the lake to uh, find the camp spot that we're planning on staying at. There's a bit of a, a cove we want to get to, so we've got this rough path. But there's the lake. And there's a massive log cabin just there. She's got some kids and stuff in, there's some boats. I might be sick if we could get one of the rowing boats out. <laughs> That'd be bliss. I really want to go for a swim, but I'm fucking knackered today. I've got nothing left. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Playing some you massive funny. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Instantly <laughs> takes away the sweaty feet. Oh, man, I'm going to put my Crocs on in a minute. Crocs for the win. Matt's got his new top. How are you finding it, mate? It's fucking brilliant. Well, we'll see. I'm up here in my hammock. We're going to sleep without the... Uh, well, I'm going to sleep without the top on tonight. It's not full... Well, he hasn't forecast any rain all week. It's Glorious sunshine all week, so we're winning, 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 winning. So I'm just going to risk it for a biscuit. Okay, so for this trip, I have been fortunate enough um, to be sent um, a few pieces of gear from three different companies. Um, so throughout the trip, I'm just going to be kind of giving you my thoughts on them and uh, just seeing how they play out from my perspective as well as kind of sharing it with you. Uh, and I'm also going to do a review for the company, uh, the companies afterwards. Um, so. The three companies are Craghopper, which have sent me a few um, items of clothing. Um, there's Hyperlite Mountain Gear, who've sent me a rucksack and a few stuff, sack, um, stuff pouches. And then the third one is Hennessy Hammocks. And together, these companies have been really, really generous. So I'm really, really fortunate. So thank you to all three of you. Um, and I'm just really excited, really. It's basically, I've got a lot of lightweight gear. So now I'm fully suited out and kitted out, ready for this expedition and further trips in the future so thanks to those companies and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna make it a big deal in this trip I'm just gonna share it with you as I go and how I'm finding these products using them um, I've already used several of them in Snowdonia in my Snowdonia series before this one um, yeah and then there'll be some full reviews to come after this trip's over and to explain how I feel they went and their improvements or whatever so yeah, so thank you to Craig Hopper, Hennessy Hammocks and Hyperlite Mountain Gear. Right then, so we've got some, for tea I've got some couscous and tuna and some other dehydrated shit. So I'm going to slap some water in it. Let that rehydrate for, I don't know, half an hour or so. I'm not planning on eating anytime soon. Just leave that and then as soon as I'm ready to eat I can just warm it up and it's ready to rock and roll. Okay folks, Bill and Matt have been really busy building this upside down fire. I've just grabbed a few bits of birch bark and shitloads of pine resin which is pouring out the tree, so we grabbed a load of that. Uh, and we're about to light this bad boy up. Uh, it's gonna go really easy, I mean making a fire in a pine forest is a piece of piss. The materials are just all around you, just grab them. Deciduous woodlands, another story. What are you actually going to light there? Just go birch bark. Just at the bottom. Bop, 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 bop. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Natural. Proper job. Mmm, <laughs> amazing. Like you don't even know.
about as extensive of this build as their push trap noise goes. <laughs> He's done his bit for the trip. <laughs> Not tomorrow. <Yeah. laughs> it's time to cook up. This is going to be tasty. Absolutely starving. We've been basically living on rations for the past two days. Okay. Because uh, I bought some food with me. Uh, I was, well, I planned to bring some food with me for the for the travelling part of the trip. Completely forgot to pick it up from home. So uh, we've been buying food from the airport and stuff. And as you are probably well aware, it's ridiculously expensive to buy from the airport. So, um, yeah, we've tr been trying to buy as least as, less as possible. Least as possible? So these two are just cooking up some stuff. And we're just rocking it over here. Your door. Right then, so it is pretty late. I don't know exactly what time it is. Um, it is quarter to ten. Quarter to ten. I think we'll be hitting the sack not too, not too later than what it is now. Uh, we are absolutely shattered. It's been a long, long couple of days. So tonight we're going to catch up on our sleep. Um, don't know how long this video has been. I hope it's been all right and pretty interesting. It's been day one. Day two is going to be a lot better. You know, we'll, proper, we'll get into the sink of things now and we'll proper crack on. But yeah, today's been a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, we didn't get into the wilderness till you know late afternoon, so we didn't start recording properly till late afternoon. But yeah, uh, Matt's in his hammock under his DD tarp. It Bill, Bill's on the floor in the bivy bag. And I'm, rock, I'm rocking the Hennessy hammock. Uh, with no tarp because it's forecast. Uh, clear sky. Clear, sc clear skies and pretty warm, so we should be should be pretty sound. So uh, yeah, I'll bring you back in a bit. Right then, that is the end of day three. I'm uh, jumping, boys. I'm cozy in my hammock now. Them pair are getting themselves sorted. I don't know what they're doing currently. Um, but yeah, I've uh, got my new lamina sleeping bag, which seems to be working quite nicely. I've, this is my um, one of the Mountain House Gear Cuban fibre sacks, and it's got all my clothes in. So that's what I'm using as my pillow, and it works incredible, incredibly well. Um, it doesn't make too much noise either in the night, which yeah, annoys me when I've got like um, I've used dry bags before, which really make a lot of noise. And it's like every time you move, it wakes you up basically. So that's quite nice actually. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a really good night's sleep. I mean, I've been needing this sleep for a good while. Oh, absolute shattered. So yeah, um, I'll see you tomorrow for day two. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon.